Aortic dissection is another disease that's commonly seen uh, in patients with high blood pressure, a family history of aortic disease, or it can happen in an aortic aneurysm. Aortic aneurysm and aortic dissection are terms that are often used uh, together, but they are two different processes. An aortic dissection is when the aorta has a tear. And so if we look at the aorta, or any blood vessel for that matter, in cross-section, it's like a three-ply hose. There's three layers to any vessel. And so when someone has an aortic dissection, what's happened is they've had a tear on the inner layer of that, uh, of that aorta. And that tear on the inside then bleeds within itself. And when the blood gets in between the layers of that aorta, it extends in between the layers and dissects the aorta or delaminates the aorta. And so those tears can occur any place along the length of your aorta, but most commonly they'll either occur in the descending aorta up here beyond the aortic arch, and that kind of dissection is often referred to as a type B dissection. And the tear, most of the time, will extend downstream, but not upstream in that situation. Or it'll be referred to as a type A dissection. A type A dissection is when the tear is in the first portion of the aorta. And the differentiation is important because when the first portion of the aorta is involved with the dissection, either because the tear started there or because the tear extended backwards into that portion of the aorta, you need to go for emergency surgery. These downstream or type B aortic dissections can most often be managed medically first and sometimes require an operation. It's important to understand that when you have an aortic dissection or this tear in your aorta that it is a potentially life-threatening emergency and you need to get prompt care. But after you survive that acute episode, whether it involves surgery up front or medical therapy up front, you will most likely often ha always have this tear or this separation of the layers of your aorta and it can become a chronic problem. We've made great strides in our treatment of that disease, however, and uh, having long-term care with medical therapy, plus or minus surgery in the future, people with aortic dissections can live a good long life.